resulting to that, he is right now serving life imprisonment. He is subject to severe torture. To an extent that many times they have tried to rape him. This is not to mention the sexual harassment and the sexual abuses he went through. Abdel Hadi Khawaja along with the political leaders which have been tortured every single day. And right now, Abdel Wahab Hussein, another prominent figure who is suffering badly from, mem from numerous things. And still, the, the prison administration in Bahrain is not providing him with any medical with any medical care. In addition, his family were not allowed to visit him. What kind of a regime you supporting David Cameron? A regime that kills, arbitrary arrest, and torture the people of Bahrain. We have not seen the United Kingdom saying anything about the Saudi occupation. In fact, they were giving them the green light to continue the brutal crackdown on peaceful protesters. Abdul Wahab Hussein has to suffer after all the torture he has been through. Why he suffer? Why he has to suffer? Why the Bahraini regime is still banning him from the very basic thing, the right of medical care? Why they are not allowing him to see his family? Is not his health been deteriorating? And then ask the question why the United Kingdom is doing nothing. In fact, continues to pay arrest the house raids. What do you mean by a reform? Something that you could not prove, you could not illustrate. The ground to prove otherwise. The ground to prove there are dictators behind bars, serving, serving five years imprisonment for treating injured protesters. The fact is, in Bahrain, most were demolished. This is the regime we're dealing up with in Bahrain. A regime has no respect to the human being, to the religious worship, to the will of the people, the only thing they are capable of is oppressing the people, brutally attacking them, brutally continuing the crackdown on peaceful people has nothing except a will of change.